Yeah, I'm excited to be back at home and, you know, the uh, schedule every once in a while tips like a little out of balance and, um, you know, so four of six on the road to start lead with the opponents we've played. It doesn't, I know we have, it doesn't feel like we've played a home SEC series in like a month and a half. Um, so we're excited to be back here. Um, you know, it's a team I have a lot of respect for, you know, a coach I have a lot of respect for, uh, you know, and they've kind of had our deal too. I mean, maybe even more difficult, you know, with Kentucky, uh, Arkansas, Vanderbilt, uh, Tennessee. So there you go. Um, so expecting a tough, hard fought weekend. Um, Still good players on both sides, you know, even though we both uh, struggled a little bit. And um, it's happy to be back here at this place. Do you guys call and schedule makers and complain about that? Yeah, I don't. Together? I don't. Yeah. I don't do much of that kind of thing, honestly. <laughs> uh, is there an update on Brady's shoulder? Um, <clears throat> you know, he was available uh, to hit the other night, um, played catch. Um, it's just a matter of getting him a uh, good. Uh, where we feel like we could put him in the game um, defensively. I, I think he's closer than further away. And I think it, it's one of those deals where there's nothing structurally wrong. So each day he seems to be making improvements. And it's throwing shoulder then? Uh, yes, yeah. Roles for uh, Thatcher Hurd and Kate Anderson going forward? Um, Thatcher Hurd uh, threw great, I thought, the other night. Um, like to see more of that. and. Um, you know, we're constantly looking at things um, for all the players. We put together some stuff with uh, how he's most effective and, you know, outlined it and putting all the work towards doing those things. And, I mean, obviously we know how talented he is and we know how productive he can be. And I think, you know, I'm not even talking about Omaha, but the back of the SEC schedule, like he finished games against Alabama, against Auburn, against Georgia. And so I'm excited to roll him out there again. I thought Cade did a really nice job on Tuesday. And, you know, you're playing good teams here at this place on Tuesday, so it's, it's hard to uh, settle on, hey, this guy should just only go here and not have him available for the weekend, especially when you have talent like that. I think he's continuing to improve, as I alluded to the other night. Um, you know, I need to see where he's at. I thought he was very efficient, you know, to get through four innings and the amount of pitches that he did. Um, so I feel good about where we're at um, in that regard. Just a little bit. Sorry. Uh, just kind of building on Cade a little bit. We just got talk, uh, done talking with Cam uh, and Steven. We got Cade and Cam pitchers and Steven and Ashton. Uh, as true freshmen playing a lot for you in the field, just what do you think this experience this year is going to do for those guys going forward, and, and how they, you know, maybe attacked this opportunity that they've had? Yeah, I think it would suggest it will be helpful. Um, you know, I had to give a speech uh, or answer questions um, at an alumni event, and you know, how do you get to Omaha, future major league players? And I've said this to you guys too, old players that really know what they're doing. There's growing pains that are inevitable, you know what I mean, um, with young players. And those four are all have had some of them, you know, even in the context of winning the game Sunday, there was a couple, you know. Um, so I think it's invaluable. Um, I think it shows that they have talent, you know, to even be able to get on the field uh, this early in their career. You know, I think uh, the quality to have two quality on the mound and especially left-handed is a great thing for us. And I think, you know, having those other two get as many at-bats as they're getting right now, you know, to help us in the immediate and, you know, build for where we want to head is a real positive thing. And, um, you know, I think, uh, you know, I think of all of them, you know, Cam is, has overwhelming talent and uh, is starting to, you know, add belief in himself. Uh, Cade has a lot of polish to what his, he does on the mound. Uh, Steven, you know, plays incredibly hard, and Ashton's just, he's very uh, mature for his age. So if they can all build on those qualities and the experience, that's going to be a really helpful thing. Have you seen the younger players try to meld with the older players 
from more of like an off the field standpoint, Cam Johnson just talked about this a little bit. Like, have you seen that sort of evolve the dynamic between those two? I guess, for lack of better word, camps. Yeah, I, you know, I, I always think of us as one team. You know what I mean? Um, and I think it's important that uh, the young players come in with the confidence and establish themselves. And I think in those four cases, those guys have done that. I think uh, our older players are smart, like they know what good players look like, um, you know, and I think it's helpful if they use their experience, you know what I mean, to, to help move guys along. It's certainly something that you want to be a part of what you're doing. I think there's, you know, some good examples of, of things I've seen in that regard and things that need, needed some improvement, but I think I think they're very together right now as a team, is what I would tell you. And um, that's the most important thing of that coming together. I think so that film discipline, for lack of a better word, is helpful to kind of force them to be together. Um, you know, team members, those kinds of things. I'm sure it's an added benefit for everybody. Uh, no, I mean, I think about all the rewards and consequences of every decision I make, because there's both, you know what I mean? Um, but I think. Uh, that, that's certainly part of it. And, and frankly, it's just to elevate what we're doing. It's like, use every minute that we're together to improve. You know, improve the team dynamic, improve the baseball performance individually and collectively. And I know it seems like this thing, but it's like, that's really all that it was about. It's like, to, to, to improve. And that's good that there's some positive player feedback about that. I would imagine the average person is going to look at Auburn's record and think one thing, and you're going to tell us something totally different. Well, I mean, I can just give you facts, you know, and the facts are we lost two out of three to them last year with a team that won the national championship. And then you have, you know, the top half of that order is still there and it's the same players. Now they've had some injuries that, um, you know, I don't really know where they're at with all of that right now, um, to be honest with you, um, in terms of how it affects this weekend. But it's a, it's a Omaha program, two of the last four or five years that has a lot of pride, um, that has talent. And again, just look through their opponents in the league. And it may seem, oh my gosh, how could that happen? You know, a couple of things don't go your way. It can happen, obviously, you know, we've, we've struggled. And so I just, I don't view this any different than I viewed us playing whoever is at the top of the standings, Arkansas, you know, Texas a and It's, to me, it's, it's really the same. And, and, and as far as anybody's opinion, it's like that has nothing to do with what's on the field. I don't mean to disregard <laughs> that, but it has nothing to do with what actually happens during the game. So the, they need this week this weekend talk. That's a negative, too. Right? Or, um, well, I mean, I, I go into every weekend, you know, as, as that as a goal. So I don't know that, uh, again, I don't know, you know, my thoughts of what we need to do. And, and frankly, like, I'm more interested in how we play that could lead to the sweep and um, you know I think the mental discipline of the players to be able to do that will lead them to better results and again the last five games better you know what I mean and um, hopefully we continue on that thought process you know young players getting a chance and improving and as they go along in the season you know old players settling into their best you know sometimes you'll catch some things with some older guys as they're getting towards the end, like they'll play better than they ever have in their career right at the end because there's nothing to lose, there's nothing to be afraid of. And so hopefully we capture a little of both of those things and then just play the game well. And, um, you know, it doesn't seem like it because we had a really rough stretch, but there's been things that our team has done well, you know, during this season, not day in, day out, but if they can just do that, then it's gonna give us a chance to win against anybody. You know, whether that's a team that's at the bottom of the standings or at the, at the top, and um, hopefully more of, of, of those things come to light. Are you surprised at all to be leading the production, playing the number of freshmen that you have? A little bit, to be honest with you. Um, and uh, it's credit to them more than anything else, you know. Um, and there's still, <laughs> there's things along the way, you know what I mean, that you want to get better at. Um, but I think it's a good thing. It's encouraging. Now, when all four of them showed up here, I, did I believe they would be a part of what we're doing 100%. That's why we brought them here. And um, I like the fact that, you know, they kind of ran towards the fight and the competition to get themselves on the field. And 
I don't think any of any player would question any of them where they're at or what they're doing, you know, right now, whether they're a fifth year senior or a freshman that um, and then they they gotta keep being themselves, improve as they go, and if they do that, then they'll be able to contribute to winning more as opposed to, you know, just being in the lineup. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, a couple of things. First off, in the fall, I mean, it's as dominant as you could ask for. Like, it's like, why is this guy here? You know what I mean? And then, you know, we had had a conversation at the end of the fall. Like, hey, man, it's not going to go like that all the time. I'm just telling you, it's not going to go like that all the time. And, um, you know, his first outing was tough. It's like, I don't know what it would be, but if you just peel back that first outing off his stats, it's probably a pretty good stat line. And um, I'm proud of him for getting past that. The next one, a little bit of a speed bump, but better. And then since then, been been pretty pretty successful. And so the hope is you, you continue to build consistency with that, and then you can keep elevating what he's doing because you want to get that talent out there as much as you can, um, you know, and that will be good for us when that happens. Mylon talked about people aren't going to remember the losses in the front half of the season when you guys get to the postseason, a regional and a super regional. Do you like that confidence from your true freshman of this is what we're doing and this is where we're going to go? Well, I like it in the sense of we can't, it, I would see to say it's more we can't do anything about what has happened already. You know what I mean? It, it, it doesn't, insignificant, ins, it doesn't make any of that insignificant. It's all significant. But however, like with that, whatever you want to call it, in the past, water under the bridge, we can do something about what we have going forward. So I like it in the sense, like, hopefully that's where his, his head's at. Kim but we got a lot of work to do. I mean, that's the way that it is. Kim talked a lot about how you know, moving to the bullpen and coming out as a reliever was a bit of a transition for him. Um, would you sort of agree with that assessment as far as some of the things that you think he's done successfully to sort of overcome that, uh, I guess, barrier? Yeah, I think uh, any pitcher we get probably um, has been a starter in high school. Not probably, they've all been a starter in high school. And then I think it goes deeper layers to that as well in regards to they don't pitch with guys on base a whole lot in high school, like the guys that we get. And so then you, it becomes strikes in the stretch and managing the running game and all of those things. I think getting ready to go in to pitch as a reliever is a, something that we can control, and I would say he's probably learned to control it better as we've gone along. And it controls preparation a lot, a lot better now that he's getting more opportunities to do that. But I think he's pitched 10 or 11 times by now, and so that's 10 or 11 reps of doing that. So he is probably a lot more comfortable. Do you think you guys are playing that proper level of defense now as opposed to I thought we had a good game the other night. Um, you know, there was a couple things at Missouri that um, whether we won or lost, I mean, the two we won or the one we lost, there's a couple plays, like, regardless of winning and losing, like, you'd want to execute a little bit better. Um, I think it's just constantly a work in progress. I, I thought Tuesday night's game was really good. I think we've been able to turn double plays here recently, um, inside and outside of the SEC, and that's helped our pitching staff. Um, and I kind of looked at like a, a nine game sample and league play of what we've been doing and how it's affected winning and losing. And, um, you know, we're playing about the same as our opponents is what I would say on, on defense. And so, uh, yeah, I think, I think Tuesday was good. I think we're trending in a good direction. Well, um, the start of the year, can't pitch much better. I don't think he had a run going into league play. I think it's just getting on the mound again, you know, in a different form. He's third year in college, but he'd only thrown 14 innings. And then frankly, in his life, he hasn't got hit very much because he's really good. Like he's good, he's talented. And then I think it became, okay, how do I overcome? Whoa, like I didn't maybe expect, you know, to give up a homer there or three run inning or, you know, lose my command. And, it just had to work through that, and um, I think he's in a good place. And uh, you know, I'm excited for for these last four in terms of how I think he's going to be able to do. Yeah, 
yeah, I think what you have with Luke is you have some experience. You know, he's taken one on the chin before coming here and since he's been here, and at least here he's reacted well every time. And, um, you know, the aptitude thing with just pitching in general is so strong. Uh, pitch well at home. Like, I, I expect him to pitch well this weekend. With Gage, do you think he was ever too hard on himself on even some of the outings where he did pitch well? Yeah, probably. I think when you're that successful um, and then you hit a speed bump, like like for us, it's like <laughs> it's, it's happening. Like this is baseball, you know. And um, they grow, they've grown up in a different world where like image status, like the game's not won on the internet or by what somebody says about you. But that's kind of the era that they've all grown up in and again he played at a great high school phenomenal high school coach you know uh, two years at UCLA coach Savage is one of the best pitching coaches of all time you know what I mean in college in college baseball anyway so I mean the guy's been around like good people you know it's hard worker it's important to him he never played anybody this good you know what I mean like and um, I think we're past that and I'm proud of him for navigating through that uh, we should have won the Florida game that, that he pitched like that should have been another SEC win for him um, and I thought he pitched good at Tennessee and you know going back to the defense that was probably our uh, least good <laughs> defensive <laughs> game of SEC play so when you start looking back at it you go like okay that's two pretty good teams I just mentioned um, you know and then a really good outing so I, I think he's well positioned to to use that experience now with his talent, hopefully full steam ahead. The guy that took the ball off the head the other night. Did you see that? Did anyone talk to or reach yeah, out to yeah. this guy or Yeah, you know, so uh um, <laughs> They should. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> I let him back clean up, you know. <laughs> so no, I, is he okay? That's the most important thing. I, yeah. Like it, yeah. I, I wouldn't want to be did a whole interview after after the game. Yeah. Uh, that was, I mean, it, I'm glad he's okay. And then it, yeah, I'm 109 mile an hour off the noggin. Like, you know, like that doesn't seem. And it, I mean, I mean, what I saw, like it bounced over the fence. So, yeah, I just hope he's okay. And um, somebody had mentioned something to me like he's a season ticket holder. He's been here for like 20 years. So, just appreciative of that. And yeah, so, you know, maybe it's one of those things, you know, like the ball off the head, you know, starts the run. You know, there, so, uh, <laughs> Yeah, and um, be intentional about all of it. You know, help them understand that, uh, again, it's like it's not going to go perfect. And when you're as good as, like, let's just say, Steven or Cam in high school, like, you haven't had really any adversity in baseball. Not that they haven't in their life, or anything, but in baseball, they haven't had a lot of adversity. And then, you know, coming into a thing like this and, you know, um, to that coming off of that team and having 21 or 22 whatever returning players like you know those guys it's not that they haven't had to go through tough stuff but there wasn't a whole lot of adversity last year like losing two out of three in the SEC is not adversity like it's not I mean they only had one losing week the entire season last year so like maybe this group wasn't as well positioned to help them understand how difficult it was so they had to find out more of it on their own which will help us you know moving moving forward.